少就真相。The M950A, also known as the Calico Light Weapon Systems M950A 9mm pistol, is a 5-star HG that's only available from normal construction. There's not much info on the M950A specifically, but there is a decent amount on Calico itself. They were originally established in Bakersfield, California under the name California Instrument Company and first began producing weapons in 1985. They then moved to Sparks, Nevada in 1998 only to make replacement parts for existing weapons and then were bought and moved again to Elgin, Oregon where full production resumed. The most notable thing about the firearms produced by Calico is their 50 to 100 round helical feed top-mounted magazines. The most notable is their main product, the M950A, now redesignated to the Liberty II for the rifle variant and the Liberty III for the pistol variant. An automatic version of the M950 does exist for military and law enforcement use. They also teased a prototype 12-gauge shotgun with the Helco magazine in a 2012 gun show. The Calico M950A is a semi-automatic roller-delayed blowback pistol, which fires the 9x19mm Parabellum cartridge from a 50 to 100 round magazine at a fire rate of roughly 750 rounds per minute, out to a range of roughly, out to a range of roughly 50 meters. In her base character art drawn by Infukun, Calico wears a white and black sailor uniform with black neckerchief and choker necklace, smiley face on her shoulder, and black and orange arm gloves with rubber gloves worn on top. Black short shorts, black thigh highs, a knee pad on her right knee, magazine pouches, and black and green platform shoes. She holds her calico, the select fire variant with foregrip, in her left hand, finger off the trigger. In her voice lines, voiced by Koga Aoi, who also voices Akemi in Jojo, Maria Amabuki in Zombieland Saga, Kaguya Shinomiya in Kaguya-sama, Rakuta Kamodo in Demon Slayer, Naru in Scientific Railgun, Yuna Okuyama in Horamiya, Shoko Komi in Komi-san, Mona Sukashiro in My Senpai is Annoying, Love Cute in Michelle, Kiwi Araga in Monster Girls, Paimon in Genshin, Muriel in Grand Blue Fantasy, Labellia in Dead or Alive, Nicoloso Dereco in Azure Lane, Kremhild in FGO, and Eno in Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Calico acts like a tsundere. って、もう意味がないか。いいよ。もっと近寄って。私のものになって無駄話は聞きたくない。仕事の最中なんだから、少しだけよ。仕事がないなら他の子に当たってくれない。新人か。じゃあ、私はいらないのか。like some HGs, Calico's main role is buffing her allies' rate of fire for a short period of time. Her tiles buff all types of T-Dolls, giving them plus 30% rate of fire and plus 50% accuracy and max stack. She's best placed on tile 5, but can be placed on other tiles if you don't mind losing 1 to 3 of hers. At level 10, Calico's first skill, Assault Command, buffs all of her allies' rate of fire by plus 25% for 8 seconds. This has a 6 second ICD and 12 second NCD. When fully linked, enhanced in level 100, base Calico has 76 HP per link for a total of 380, consumes 30 rations and ammo, deals 30 damage, has 68 evasion, 55 accuracy, 72 rate of fire, 15 move speed, a 20% crit rate, and deals 150% damage on a crit. The recommended equipment for base Calico is a 5-star heavy exoskeleton, 5-star HP ammo, and 5-star suppressor. This gives her plus 9 damage, plus 45 evasion, plus 20% crit rate, but minus 7 armor pen. 
To fully mod Calico, she'll need 3,800 memfrags, 150 dummy cores, and 10 fire control components, aka FCCs. 100 affection for all mod levels, and to be level 100 for mod 1, 110 for mod 2, and 115 for mod 3. This takes roughly 20 and a half days just to get the memory fragments, though it can be shorter if there's a rate up. Getting the FCCs is much slower, as you're only able to get two per month from the black market, as well as two from the battle pass. But that's only 40% of what you need, so realistically, it will take you anywhere between three to five months to get the FCCs you need from both the battle pass and or black market. Her rarity goes to six stars when modded. In her mod art, drawn by Earth-8, Calico wears a much less shiny black sailor suit uniform, with black pleated skirt instead of short shorts, black mechanical cat ears, black fingerless gloves, a warning and heart pin on her backpack strap, a black camping backpack, black jacket with NVP on the side, white thigh highs, a knee brace on her right knee, white and green shoes, a school bag with a frowning pen, magazines, and a pass in it, and two plastic boxes. She holds her M950, now with Picatinny handguard, in her right hand, and a tomahawk in her left. When fully modded, Calico gains an extra buff tile directly behind her, and her tile buffs now give plus 32% rate of fire and plus 60% accuracy at max stack. Her stats are raised to 80 HP per link for a total of 400, dealing 33 damage and having 77 evasion, 57 accuracy, and 72 rate of fire. Her first skill, Assault Command, now buffs all allies' rate of fire by plus 28% for 8 seconds. Calico's second skill, Soul Live, at level 10, when Calico enters combat on an allied node, she creates a deceleration zone in the radius of 4 units in front of the echelon. This zone reduces the movement speed and evasion of enemies within it by minus 30% for 6 seconds. When she enters a non-allied node, all allies get plus 5% rate of fire for 5 seconds. Additionally, SMGs, RFs, ARs, MGs, and SGs get plus 3, plus 8, plus 5, plus 11, and plus 9 movement speed, respectively, for 60 seconds. The recommended equipment for modded Calico is 5-star HP ammo and her specs, the FA Origin Skeleton, which is available from the Grey Zone, and the WML and Tactical Handguard, which she obtains from reaching Mod 3. This gives her plus 15 damage, plus 65 evasion, minus 3 accuracy, plus 20% crit rate, and minus 7 armor pen. Both base and mod calico are pretty good choices for RFHG echelons, but can be used for other configurations as well. Starting with base calico, her skill gives a nice buff to rifles rate of fire, most of which need it, with her tiles doing the same. Her tile layout is weird, however, meaning that you'll have to decide which rifle gets the buff as she has no tile directly behind her. I'd say maybe medium priority to raise. Her mod, however, fixes that issue, giving her an extra tile that she needs and all around buffing her first skill and tiles to further increase the rate of fire for her allies. Her second skill further pushes her into that support role, this time focusing on either reducing evasion and movement speed if she's on a capture tile or increasing rate of fire on an enemy tile, while also buffing movement speed for a whole 60 seconds. If you cut your dolls around, she'll be your best friend. If you don't, her rate of fire is pretty great to have on slow firing rifles. High priority to raise. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter and Blue Sky for updates, and please check out my other Arknights and Azure Lane videos as well.